joined now by the one and only Johnny Peacock. Really strong performance today in the T4400 metres. How do you assess it? Um, I wouldn't call it a strong performance, to be honest with you. Um, I think this year for me is about getting that start executed right in a competition. You know, I've been able to do it in training, but it's a bit more inconsistent when I come to competition. You know, I haven't really been able to lay it down. And it felt like I got it right today. Uh, I need to look it back on film to kind of, you know, find out the truth of it. But I, kind of, I definitely felt a couple of really wobbly steps at about 50 metres. Uh, so I'll be honest, I just, I just don't, I don't know if the fitness is there or what. But unfortunately, you know, it didn't come together today. You know, obviously. As an athlete, as you know, it's, it's, it's your job at the end of the day to try and make it come together on a competition. So I can only really blame myself, but congrats to Richard for, you know, getting me on the dip. Yeah, I mean, and it looked like you had a good start from, from the layman's perspective. It looked like you got out well and it was a really tight race. And obviously he's been quite vocal about your rivalry as well. Yeah. I mean, how is that for you coming into this? Um, you know, obviously it's, it's really good to have a, good, a strong rivalry in the, in the sport, you know. Uh, it, it pushes us both on it, you know, it brings out strong performances now, I think. You know, that's his, his, his second second win against me. So, you know, I'm counting it as 6-2. So yeah. I'm sitting in the lead technically, but you that's know. That's right. So yeah, just on the record, 6-2, Johnny Peak <laughs> at the moment. But you know, obviously the last three races, he's got me a couple of times. So I've definitely got to make sure that, you know, next time I race him, I really bring it out the bag then. You know, today it was one on lost at about, you know, kind of 50 meters plus and, you know, he had a better performance than me in that. So, you know, congrats to him. And what did you think of the stadium? Obviously we've seen a little bit of rain today. We didn't get yesterday, but how did it feel? Uh, you know, I was, I was looking at the weather for, for, for the last week and it's been... It's looked grim, but... Yeah, we did. Oh, it was great. It was, I saw like 60-70% chance of rain today and all through the day, so I was expecting it to be showering all day. But, you know, in the warm-up area, we had about 10 minutes of rain and that was it. So, you know, I can't complain about that. But, you know, the crowd was amazing and, you know, the roar that you get in here and it's, it's not even full. So, you know, it's going to be amazing when the Commonwealth Games come. And obviously you mentioned the start there, but what, what else have you got to do or what's your main focus to recapture that world record? Um, well, to be honest with you, you know, it didn't feel like a true indication of where I'm at today. You know, 10.96 isn't really a good performance for me, you know, especially where I'm at at the moment. I feel much stronger than that. Um, you know, like I say, you know, I, I didn't do myself enough. I, I made the mistake today. Uh, so, you know, if we, we get it right in the race, you know, hopefully it'll come down. And, you know, I've only really run to 90 metres in training at the moment. So, um, a lot to yeah, we've been taking it slowly, you know, there's not too much this year, you know, apart from the Europeans at the end of the year, so, you know, we've had some time to, to kind of rebuild slowly, so, you know, hopefully after the next couple of months, you know, as I get a few races in me, then, you know, it'll come, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, and hopefully reap the benefits of that in the years to come as well, that, you know, the fact you've, you've managed to change around stuff that yeah, you don't yeah. always get the chance to. No. For sure, for sure. Yeah, so um, just sorry, lastly, the, the Europeans, that the main focus now? Is that um, what we're, we're looking at? Yeah, I think so. You know, obviously, it's, it's race by race, as you know. So, I mean, next weekend, there's uh, the anniversary games in. Quite a big event. Yeah, so hopefully that'll be really fun. You know, obviously, it's, it's great whenever they lay a track down. It's a, it's a really cool atmosphere there. So, uh, you know, God, I'm really looking forward to being in London. So, that's going to hopefully be a really cool event. So, you know, just go there, have some fun. And uh, yeah, after that, maybe start thinking about uh, turn my thoughts to the Europeans and, you yeah, know, hopefully get it done. Well, thanks a lot for stopping to speak to us and uh, best of luck.